What's up, everybody? I'm John. I'm Isaac. And today on Cars and Cameras, we are bringing out the Hot Rod Mouse Mini Bike again, which is a mid 1970s duster chopper that you could buy at JCPenney. Well, today, the duster chopper is getting a cosmetic makeover with some new wheels, new tires, tubes, brakes, possibly a new seat, possibly a sissy bar because that was highly requested by you guys, and a couple of other odds and ends to really just set it off as a rat rod show bike. So our sponsor, GoPowerSports.com, sent us all of these parts. Check them out at links in the description of this video. Let's get to installing some shiny new stuff. Yeah, so that brake just was not spectacular. Well, it doesn't even belong on the bike. Originally, this thing had a pedal coming off of here, and it had one of those like flat yeah. paddle yep, type yep. brakes. And the guy I got it from, they converted this onto this bike. Uh, I really wish I knew what they did with the rest of the brakes. I'm gonna get a tool and punch that axle through. Oh, there it is. Well, it's a Carlisle, made in USA. That is an old tire, buddy. Yeah, it is. Interesting. All right, dude. So, out with the old and in with the new. There we go. We're getting rid of this, uh, this brake. All right, dude, I'm gonna show you an old trick that I don't think is gonna work on this, but I thought I'd give it a try. system's off. We're just doing a test fit to see if these meaty tires are even going to fit on the back. Man, we've been after these wheels for years, honestly, and uh, yeah. Finally got them. Yeah, they're awesome. Do we have clearance? Well, at the moment. Yeah, but we don't know how much this tire is going to expand. Well, we just make sure it rides around flat. <laughs> it's crazy how much, like, one wheel can do to change the look. So now that we know that our rear wheel and tire setup is gonna fit and it looks awesome, we can take it back apart, add the tube, add the tire, our sprocket, our brake, and reassemble. Ike had a great idea for kicking up the back of the seat um, so that we aren't sliding off the back of it. So between that and the fact that we now have a larger tire on the back, it's gonna be even better to ride. All right, dude, I'm gonna try something. It could be the smartest thing ever, or it could be the dumbest thing ever. I'm gonna heat up the bottom of the seat so I can curve the bottom of the seat. I wonder if I should get both of the heat guns. Nice, man. So we think we can try to heat up some of the vinyl to make it look a little bit better? I hope so. I know you can like shrink up the shrink up the vinyl some by heating it up. Um, let's see what we can do. Sounds good.
I think that's looking really good, man. I like it. Man, those rims. Those rims, dude. All right, the chain is on, the brake is on and adjusted, just needs to break in. And Ike's just installing the final touch, which the only thing I know what to call it is exhaust trumpet. It's just like a little accessory for extra flash. Yeah. So I think this thing turned out really good. We spent way too much time on that rear wheel just because, well, you had to adjust the sprocket out to get it to line up with the engine, and but we got it. Yeah. We got it, and also the old axles on this mini bike were oh. awful. Yeah. They were terrible. They were all bungered up. Yeah. <laughs> I destroyed a brand new bearing because of uh, the axle. <laughs> the axle. I think the seat, that was an awesome idea. Thanks, buddy. It looks really good. Um, so all we need to do is wait till we have some daylight. We can go for a ride. So the big things we're looking for here is mainly just an improvement in ride quality. We have some new tires and they're also cushier. So they should be nice and comfortable. Ike is off doing a top speed run. I can tell just about listening to it that the gear is much, much taller just by the change in the tire size. And to be honest with you, I can't remember if we ended up changing the size of the rear gear or not. Because, well, it's been raining for the past week and haven't had an opportunity to do this yet. Oh, did it break down? Five miles an hour. Oh yeah, 30 was the top speed. Yep, so we picked up seven. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's find some pliers, fix that intake manifold, yeah. keep going. All right. Man, it doesn't sound like this thing is turning RPM. No, it's not. So let's just tighten that up. We'll do another speed run real quick, see if it's any faster. All right. I don't think it will be. So the engine RPM being a little bit lower at speed, it's probably because the engine can't handle have the juice to take it there uh, exactly with the, the change in gears yeah but it's awesome this seat is a lot more comfy yes it is so i'm really digging this bike the wheels tires are awesome just need to work on the horsepower bit I believe you're right. We yeah. got a better top speed, but the engine just can't handle it. Right, well, right. now we got to just figure out who's the uh, better driver on the oh, Isaac, Isaac's thing. Grand Prix. I don't want to race this. Are you marked? Get set, go! Bad idea, buddy. Heard a, like some complaining going on. Woo! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Did you get a branch in the face? I uh, nearly, ah. <laughs> I nearly lost it. I nearly lost it. How's the spark? Is it strong? It's there. What do you think your time was, sir? Slow. What was it? Slow. I don't even know. 36, 38, 42. Your time was? Yeah. 30. Uh-huh. 6. Cool. 0. .72. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. What'd you do, dude? I mean, what did you do? <laughs> Is huh. the timer still going? I mean, you didn't cross the finish line yet, so. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll give you a reset. All right. Yeah. Ready, yeah. set, go. You can tell the gear is tall. Are you okay? Here he comes, ladies and gents. I think she's had enough, buddy. Every time I want to get nasty with it, it throws a chain. All right. Did you go down? Huh? Did you go down? No. No, I didn't go down, dude. I, uh, look. I was coming in hot, you see. Yeah. I was getting to the first turn. Uh-huh. Turn one, okay? Yeah. I step on the brakes. Uh -huh. Everything's going good. I round the, th the, 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 the turn. I gave it the juice. Pink. Chain went. What a bummer. But I got it back on. Because I was so far ahead of you, it wasn't a problem. So I got the chain back on, okay? And I was doing really good. Uh huh. And then uh, I just realized that I'm totally lying and you won, buddy. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We totally transformed how the Hot Rod Mouse bike looks, even without painting it. The wheels are sweet. They're from GoPowerSports.com. Check them out at a link in the description of this video. Let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you when you place your order. And yeah, it rides a little bit better. Uh, we just need to change the gear on it and put some lock washers on the uh, bolts and the intake manifold. And then it should be golden. And it'll be a perfect cruiser. Um, bring all your vintage mini bikes out. Oh, bring everything out uh, to Mini Mayhem, which is coming up April 24, 25, 26 of 2020. Um, yeah, tell all your friends. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing you guys out there. But I think we're going to have a specific section four vintage mini bikes so we can get a picture all together that's because we're taking the hot rod mouse out there absolutely yeah so just for a you know gentle cruise around the premises no mudding or anything mm -mm. But, no but it'll be nice yeah help us fund our future projects by picking up a sticker or a shirt or a hat at cars-cameras.com ike is rocking a brand new one and Thank let you. us know in the order notes uh we can sign them for you know, if you're going to get one for... For an additional $50. No, definitely not for free, but... <laughs> oh. oh, okay. All right. Cool. Either anyway, way, it's cool. Anyway, you know, if, if you have a birthday coming up or something like that, yeah, we'd be happy to do that for you. Anyway, um, cars-cameras.com is the website on that. And Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews for sneak peeks on what we're up to. And Isaac? At Isaac, it'll be fine. One more time, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.